being reported across uh, much of Stillwater this morning. This is video we got in from the Stillwater Regional Airport. You can see the damage done to planes there. So we also got in pictures from that same airport. Look at these pieces of the plane here, snapped, bent on this plane here. We're told several planes were affected here. So we're talking damage and at least in the tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands just there at the airport. And I know, Brad, you were on air for a while early this morning when that major storm passed through Stillwater. Uh, at what point would you say it became the worst? You know, we, we saw this storm. I saw the storm flare up around 1.30. As soon as it did, went to air and stayed with it for about 30 or 40 minutes until the threat was over with. But it came through Stillwater with about a 70 to 75 mile per hour wind. Some of you captured it here. Back to those airplanes. When we saw those planes, I saw the chain that was snapped on that mm -hmm. thick gauge chain holding those planes down, just snapping it like it was a blade of grass. And I think we're going to see a lot more damage coming out of the Stillwater area. We have photojournalist Jimmy Taylor who's been there and he has shown us some trees that have been down. Of course, there are power outages and a report of a tree through a home a little bit earlier as well. That's right. We actually have Rob Hill with us. He's from the Stillwater Emergency Management. And Rob, wondering now that we're a few hours away from that main storm, if you can tell us what the damage is like that you've had a chance to assess the area. Well, we're still taking reports um, as the sun comes up and people wake up and start to, to move around. We're starting to get more and more reports of anything from just uh, shingle damage to trees down in yards uh, to side streets that we didn't know about that have large tree limbs or trees blocking the roadway. Um, electric utility crews have been out all night trying to restore power where we had issues where, with tree limbs and, and, and maybe even just um, trees falling over and breaking the lines. Um, our operations department has been out um, since about 2.33 o'clock uh, with heavy equipment driving around, <clears throat> moving tree limbs and trees out of roadways, trying to open up those paths so that people can, can get to work, get to school, navigate. Hey, Rob, um, this is Brad Souter. Uh, thanks for talking with us this morning. I wanted to ask you real quick, uh, you're talking about a lot of trees and maybe even some power lines down. Are there any specific roads that are closed that may affect folks on their way to work this morning? You know, at the moment, we've got all the major arteries open in town so that people can get around. Now we're concentrating on some of the side streets. So the major areas in town are open. All right, Rob, and I, I just want to be clear here before we let you go. No injuries reported so far? Nope. So far, we have not had one report of an injury. Knock on wood, we're, we're very pleased. Um, you know, we the National Weather Service sent out the thunderstorm warning, and... Um, you know, people did what they needed to do. They responded the way they're supposed to respond and, and took cover and, and were made aware of the, the threat. But no injuries to this point. All right, a lot of cleanup to go. No, Rob Hill, thank you for your time with the Stillwater Emergency Management. We're going to continue to track this. Yeah, hold, hold this shot for sure. just a second. See, see a lot of uh, debris in the road here. It looks like a, a lot of limbs, uh, some flashing lights. And uh, there you can see. Um, Let's see what we're looking at. It looks like maybe a tree, tree right across there in the that road, of the road there. Brad. Uh, let's get Jimmy Taylor here and find out the name of this road. Um, here, yeah, it's a huge tree. Did you see that lightning strike? Uh, let's get the name of this road because obviously that's going to uh, be shut down. Uh, Caitlin, do you did did you get a chance to ask Jimmy the name of that road there? A, okay, she, a she's getting a hold end. of him now. We do have him on the on the phone. Uh, but a big, big tree there. And I did see more reports of that coming in that this just wasn't a couple tree limbs, that these were fat oak trees that were uprooted and blown down. And Steve, it only takes, it takes the strongest of winds to be able to do that. Uh, 60, 70, 80 mile per hour winds. Say that one more time. West Brown Drive is uh, the road here that is in Stillwater that obviously folks there will not be able to get to work until that is cut up. So more sites like that likely across okay. the city. Yeah, and you were talking about the size and scope of the damage. Obviously, when you see the airplane pictures from earlier, too, this is not just a small storm we're talking about. I know you're watching uh, the bulk of the moisture coming in this morning. We'll check back in with you in just a moment.